Estoy llorando por mí, también. Es que me da penilla el chaval, ¿vale? <risa> ¡Hola! Nos quedamos en que ha venido David a salvarnos eh, Y ha pegado una buena hostia al Jefferson Y ahora al Jefferson creo que le han atado, no sé Y bueno, Jefferson quemó nuestro diario con todas nuestras fotos Entonces no podemos ir a ningún momento de ninguna foto en específico Excepto la de Warren Que es lo que tenemos que hacer ahora David Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just... Wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Kate was bullied up to that roof. But it was still Nathan and Jefferson who put her there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. We... we are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I tr try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? <sighs> David, um... No se lo voy a contar. She was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Corn. 
going, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. No, this is so easy. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. Jefferson. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Oh, I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. Oh, that's Victoria's bracelet. I bet Jefferson was going to use that to frame Nathan. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. You are gonna Frank fry. isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. Chloe, I'm gonna save you for the last time. Jefferson. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott Cash. Cops are getting you in one piece. No more fucking guns. You're fucked, Jefferson. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. So gross. I wonder if he charged that duct tape to Blackwell. Scum. I can still feel those straps. Stop, Max. You're free. Mama. Vale, iba a decir, a no ser que la foto esté en el móvil y me la pasase. Pero la hizo... La hizo con una... Freedom. Con una instantánea, creo. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find Rory. Yes. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Y no hice lo de la vagabunda, tío. Ya verás. I can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you want. Seguro que tiene que ver con esto, es que seguro. Seguro. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down and I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station somebody get me the hell out of here now now god damn it how do I pay all those taxes you have one new message the message received yesterday at 9pm Max it's, it's Nathan I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. 
Everybody use me. It's been under my name, Sammy. It's coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Es que me da penilla el chaval, ¿vale? <laughs> How can I get out of here? Oh, this makes me so sad. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. He's dead. Electrocuted. Vale. Creo que tengo que usarlo. Apagar el fuego. Dejar que muera. Ir para acá. No sé, ¿eh? Y 
que echar para atrás ¿No? No, no, no ¡Joder! ¿Por qué quiero salvar a tanta gente? Please, 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 please. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Oh, I should have warned her. I never even asked her name. So selfish. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay. Go get him, Julia. And surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Max. Oh, Max. I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So Whoa. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. 
God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papa do hate No, 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 no le hagan nada, Prescott, tío, pobrecito. A ver, es un mierda, ¿vale? Pero pobrecito, tío. No me entiendes lo que me ha preguntado. No, I didn't. But... Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and I know he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? It doesn't matter. She deserves her peace now. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, just not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad. The bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Please be okay, Chloe. There. It's better to know. No more music. The party is over. This vortex is much bigger. It's so hard to believe people were eating breakfast here. Only a few hours ago. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa! Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already ki killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm 
not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Huh. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drugs. No sé no me la boca. Sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person, not not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week. I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Money, come on. Choice. Focus on the people. Hey. Be careful out there. I'm <sighs> I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Pobre Warren, dude. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? <laughs> I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, we were in. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming?
Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! If I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. I'm her best friend. Excuse me, I'm going to that party. Nathan is dead. That fucker is already... Because... Will you please tell me exactly... Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I, I... I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. And I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... It must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. Right. That's that's why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. 
Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. La venganza será terrible. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. Bueno. I've got your back, Max. Otra vez, igual. Whoa. Tia, no eres pesada ni Film, little pieces of time. I'm back in class. What the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to sorrows, listen to this Jefferson lecture again. To shaft, this might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay. who yeah, perfectly this is in condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. We feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture, right? What's going on? What? Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark room and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Madre mía, la movida. What, 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 what? You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. I want to die, I want to die. Not yet, you bastard. 
bastard. Max, si estás leyendo esto, significa que estás muerta. Besos, señor Jefferson. ¿Qué cojones? Y ahora Chloe, ya ves. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. En realidad no sé cuánto queda, vale, pero lo que quede ya en otro vídeo, vale, porque este vídeo ya está siendo muy largo. Esperamos que te haya gustado este vídeo. Por favor, dale a like, comenta. Y compártelo con tus amigos. ¡Y suscríbete! Gracias. Subimos, wow.